guys, so last time you saw me do Katie's gorgeous pink in her hair, but then everybody wanted to see how this updo is done. So I'm gonna take you guys into the salon and show you how to do this style in about five minutes, just as an extra little fun thing to do on your client's hair. All right, to get started with this look, we're gonna start with dry hair and a little bit of hairspray. I'm using my favorite Evo Builders Paradise Working Hairspray so we can build up some really great curl to Katie's hair. Then brushing out all of the tangles with our special wet brush, we're gonna move on to curling. So I'm going to section her hair from bottom to top. I like to take about three sections going up, working from the bottom part of the hair. This just keeps it really easy to control where you're putting your curl. Now I'm gonna smooth over Katie's ends with my T3 curling iron. I'm using the one inch clip um, attachment for this. I love that there's different attachments so you can do any size that you want. One inch is preferably the one that I like to use to get these really cute curls. So I'm going to curl everything away from Katie's face. That way everything flows really gorgeously. And you guys can see I even have some extensions in Katie's hair and this T3 curling iron is like the best curling iron freaking ever. And I love working with the working spray because I can go in and add these really cute curls to my client's hair without having to worry about their hair falling out or being too crunchy and weird. So once we have all of her hair curled away from her face, I'm going to go in with my big white tooth comb and I'm just going to break up all of the curls. That way she has these gorgeous kind of wavy textured curls to her hair that I'm obsessed with. So let's start with the updo or the half up too. So I'm going to start in the very back part of where her crown is and I'm just going to kind of grab a middle section to her hair and twist it over to the side a little bit. You can see I'm kind of playing with it to see which direction it wants to best sit because everyone's hair is different. So going into my little bobby pin tray, I'm going to grab a bobby pin and using the rigid side, I'm going to tuck that up and under and twist it into the hair. Now we're gonna start doing our actual part of the updo. So I'm going to take a strand of hair and twist it in towards the opposite direction that we're coming from. So I'm gonna twist it to the right, and then I'm going to pull a little bit of this out like you see me doing. Holding this to her head, I'm going to pin it into place. So we're gonna be layering left, right, left, right. So now that we've done the left side, and I'm gonna get that bobby pin in, I'm going to take a section from the right side of her head, twist it in towards her head, and then holding the bottom, I'm going to pull with my finger a little bit of that whole strand out so you guys can see how it's like making it bigger and fatter and just giving it that whimsical look and then I'm gonna sweep it over to the opposite side and pin that into place now this is all artistically placed so let me show you guys an up-close view so I'm gonna pull out a strand I like to get it about as big as I want and then I'm going to twist it in towards her head and using my other hand I'm gonna pull a little bit of this out to make it really like airy and soft and this gives you a ton of volume for all of that hair up there and then I just kind of place it where I want and then bobby pin that into her head and I'm gonna go and continue to do this from left to right, like I said, and just build up how I want that to look in the back. So I like to take smaller sections and then pull them out because it's going to give you a really full look. You can even do this on someone who has really fine hair. And then you just go back and forth until you've gotten enough hair from the front to create a really gorgeous half up look. Now I'm gonna share another trick with you guys. If you guys have any ends that stick up, like I'm pinning this right here, if you have any ends that tend to stick out like this and you're like, where do I put that? Grab a big hairpin, stick it up from the underneath part, grab another hairpin, and then kind of needle that through like you're gonna be um, threading a needle. And then all you're going to do is pull the one that you inserted from the bottom down and that's going to loop the ends of the hair down and through. So you don't have to worry about those sticking up and it's just a great way to lace those ends of the hair in. I'm gonna finish with one last section and pin that little guy into place. And you guys can see, I'm just gonna kind of pull and tug a few areas that I feel like need to be adjusted. And this is so easy. Now I'm gonna grab Miss Malleable. This is a finishing spray. Again, it doesn't make the hair crunchy. It's just going to set everything in place. And then I'm gonna grab my favorite cherry on top and that is Love Touch. It is the best shine spray ever to just kind of go in and add some really beautiful shine and glimmer to the hair. 
there. Now if you want to keep the ends a little piecey, I'm going to grab my Moroccan oil paste. This is like a really awesome like clay pomade and I just like to mush it into those ends to give the ends a really gorgeous textured finish to where they don't become soft. And this is Katie's finished hair. I'm so I, I love this look so much and thank you guys so much for asking how to do it. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you guys want to see how we colored Katie's hair to have these really cute little pink pops going through, go check out the tutorial. I will have it linked down in the description box.